Hello everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. I'm going to be showing you uh, a primitive flag and pennant uh, indicator signals that get generated from the data that I send, which is pretty well, mostly, well, pretty well all cryptocurrency uh, pairs from Binance, the exchange. Okay, first thing we need to understand is what is a, a uh, pattern or more specifically the the flags and pennants that I'm referring to. I want to make sure everybody understands what a candlestick is. Each one, I'm sure this is pretty basic stuff. Open, price to close, and then these wicks are the high price and low price. These are pretty well in the uh, open, high, low, close data that you download from whatever exchange. It doesn't matter. It's pretty standard across all uh, exchanges. And then we get into what is a pennant, what is a flag. Okay, so there's different definitions of it, and uh, it can get kind of confusing. So for me, um, when you look at these kind of pennants, usually you'll see uh, roughly 15 to 25 candles in this formation in the data. Now I'm dealing with hourly data, and this right here means basically that the opens are going up and the uh, uh, closes are going up as well. But there's different formations and for different reasons. So here, I'm not going to worry about this at all. Um, this Technically, this is considered the uh, this rise is the flagpole phase, as they call it. And then we get our price goes into a pricing action, and then that's where the um, basically the flag or or well, really the flag becomes a uh, and it goes into this phase. And again, um, right now, roughly it can be fifteen to twenty five uh, candlesticks, but that could be. Um, any amount and again I might not be correct here but I'm just going to tell you how I define it so you can have 15 to 25 candles uh, or bars kind of the same I would think and there's different times you can set your entries I'm going to tell you something I don't really care about this stop loss level or the price target at this point because as I said this is just one of probably 10 different patterns 10 uh, among all the different combos that I have so I'll be using those in com combination to set pricing outside of this. So all I really care about, and this is important to understand when you see my report, all I really care about is the signal of the flag or pennant. And that's all I really care about. Uh, it's, it's, it's happening, and it's happening at a certain time. But anyways, um, what we can have is we're going to have pennants. And then typically what will happen is this flag uh, phase that height will define the next expected um, price move back down. So in this case, we have a first flag position, goes into a pennant mode, and then the same distance here is when you set your price target and your stop loss is the lower part of the uh, pennant. Same with the shorting side, or if it goes into a declining mode, just everything's in reverse, goes from... Uh, flag portion goes into a flag mode or into the flag or pennant mode and then that same distance is when you can expect your next price target uh, as your um, exit okay so knowing that um, that sort of helps and um, we have here triangles uh, so we, we've talked about uh, somewhat flags and patterns uh, Flags and triangles is very confusing, can be uh, treated the same. So, uh, let me just see if I can find uh, the uh, baby, baby pips uh, one. Let me see here. That's okay. So, let's do a baby pips. Uh, this one's pretty good, actually. Flag and pennant. So, um, 
not sure if this is the right one we want. This is another definition of it. So we have a resistance line and support line. So if we go into a, sh a downtrend, uh, what can happen is the pricing action can go into this consolidation mode. So again, what's happening in uh, is your opens in the o o open high low close are dropping while the closes are increasing because these are how they're defined in the uh, candles. So it's a, there's a tightening or consolidating mode uh, in this pattern. This is very common in um, very common in um, pricing action when you go into this random walk. But usually what can happen is you have a downtrend goes into this flag or pennant mode and then you can expect that next trend to drop down and what can happen is you can get another downtrend and uh, I'm gonna leave the links in my description or also in the uh, blog post as well so you can make reference to this so here we can get our bullish um, ones as well uh, if we have an uptrend and it goes into um, our uh, pennant as well so that's all cool and then we'll add on a little more confusion here so if we look for uh, a bullish flag versus a bullish a uh, bullish um, pennant it can get very confusing very quickly because here we have now bullish um, bullish flags and that's where it includes that flagpole mode, as I told you. But at the end of the day, uh, I'm going to show you my report here. So what we have here is, um, let's see how many uh, pairs we've got. I made a fix to the downloading of the Binance. So we should have a lot more. And uh, let me just go to the download part and then let's do a oh. so if I do a Binance with the word count so we have 326 pairs okay so if I was to show you that here they are so these are all the different combination pairs as I said they're from Binance with the currency cryptocurrency pair along with the hourly rate Okay, <clears throat> so let me show you the reports. Okay, so I've done two tests. The first one is the last 1,000 hours. So I'm just downloading um, the last 1,000 hours, okay? And uh, this is the report. So typically, uh, I wanted to show you um, the increasing pennant, declining pennant, and um, it can get kind of wonky here. Uh, so... We have flags and pennants, and they could be declining or bearish or, or bullish. And we put the time and the, 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 the date in there. Now, uh, you may be getting, well, why don't you just chart it? To chart these is very, not difficult, it's just too time consuming to debug it and whatnot. So I just said, screw it. There's a lot of systems out there that don't even have an interface. So I just wanted to put these reports out as uh, a signal. So the important part is the dates in this case. We have here bullish flags in around April 10th, okay? And then always in April, there's something happening on that day. It's always bullish, uh, as you can see here. So that was a good day to be in the markets. Um, and uh, yeah, I find that quite odd. I don't know if it's a bug or not, but I hope not. <laughs> Anyway, so let me show you how I get I generate these. So if I go back to one of our charts, um, yeah, this one would be good. So what I've done is I've got um, a script. What it will do is it will, as I said, it will go through each um, Binance cryptocurrency file. And in this report here, you can see it's the last thousand hours. So I want to make sure I can capture as much as possible. Um, and 
when you go through these examples, um, if you count them up, you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Um, there's always seems to be roughly about fifteen to twenty. So in this case, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So I'm going to figure if you've got anywhere from 15 to 20 hours um, of a formation for either a flag or a pennant, that may be good enough. I can't say, but it should be enough to uh, generate a signal on. So what we're doing is we are over those 15 hours or 20, in my case, I'm using 20 hours and 20 hours only, just the average. And there was some other platform I saw. That's what they use to measure these as a look back. So what we do is we look at the most recent candle and then we look look back, um, in my case, 20 candles or bars. And it goes through each one and it wants to make sure that the opens are um, basically in, in decline. So what we're doing is the opens are dropping and the closes are going up. So that's gonna give you a formation, a consolidation of formation. Um, so that's a pennant and then um, we can do the opposite where we have um, so this would be I consider a declining uh, pennant which would be I believe bearish but um, that's why I'm making this video to get clarification on what you guys think but let me know uh, I'm always open to criticism to make sure I'm getting it right and then the other one the opposite of this would be an upward move and again it just depends on the previous uh, previous uh, data and if it's if it's moving up in an uptrend then it goes in this consolidation form what can happen so um, this is what I'm after is just to get some better knowledge and better different interpretation so if that's the case and it goes into an up uh, pennant or uh, increasing inclining or increasing pennant can what I call it so we're using the um, resistance the opens and the support would be the closes so we want expect as I said the opens to drop in the bar and the candles and the closes to go up to form this consolidation formation now it may not meet here um, but that is how we loosely call a pennant uh, I'm going to make sure we understand that loosely call a pennant but it's close enough where there's that trend where there's definitely some form of consolidation happening that's the key I think now these pennants don't <coughs> occur as frequent as you can imagine so here in BNB BTC we only have over really one day uh, where we're able to generate these uh, patterns so the other thing, um, actually, these are pe uh, um, flags minus the flag pole. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the um, pennants because all this latest security crap is just for Apple. Is just trash. Worse, probably as bad as Microsoft. Anyways, so I've got um, some pennants here, bullish, bearish, depending upon the move. So you have an up move, uh, pennant, and then. That move continues. The bearish, similar, but just down moves. But here's the bull flag and the bear flag, which is clearly not correct. And, and any website I go to just defines it differently, which can be wrong, but I'll show you my definition of it. So I come in here, do a bullish flag under the images. This is what I'm looking for. This would be considered a... Um, a flag but you can see it's on a decline um, and then we have the bullish flag and the bearish flag so if we have our opens and our closes moving and dropping in parallel from the bars or the candles that's a bullish from move up and then the bearish uh, same but the reverse but it's moving up 
So when I look at um, the report, I'm just going to generate. So again, let me just remind you, because I've babbled on this uh, video too long. Uh, let me just go back into my place where I need to be. Just all this Apple, oh, Mac OS crap. Just to leave you. Um, let me just get to it. I will get there. Okay, here we go. Here we are. Okay, so the report I'm referring to is uh, this one. So again, I showed you this one for the thousand uh, periods. Okay, so I just want to show you that there is declining penance and there's some bullish, so on and so forth. Now again, this could also mean it's a bug or nothing correct, but I'll show you what I've generated for the last. Now, what I'm doing is the data is hourly still for cryptocurrency from Binance, the exchange. But in this case, it's only for, because remember, cryptocurrency does not close. So what I've done is the last 24 hours times seven, so the last uh, week's worth uh, every day for 24 hours times seven. So let me just uh, show you that report. So when you look at um, the different dates here, um, we have here all the different periods of bear flag as well as a um, declining uh, pennant and a bear flag, which is really meaning it's uh, bearish throughout the cryptocurrency world. Um, so that's what I want to show you is just the different uh, flags and pennants. Uh, hopefully I've got them right. I just want to show you the mechanics of it at least. Um, but let me know what you think. Sorry to butcher you through um, however long this video is. But hopefully you kind of get what I'm saying. If you got, if you, if there's corrections to be made, let me know by the comments, and I'll uh, talk to you soon. Later. Howdy doody. Okay, so I made a correction. These are the bullish and bearish pennants that I want. Um, the only difference is up move or an uptrend goes into consolidation, and the trend continues. That's what's expected when you hit these bullish pennants. Bearish pennants the opposite. If it's in a downtrend, consolidates, goes down again. Uh, that's what's expected. Um, so that's for the bullish. Now, in terms of the bearish flag, I found what I was looking for. But again, these flag patterns are always defined differently on different sites. But generally, what I'm trying to do is you have an initial decline or downtrend goes up into a short-term trend. So again, on the opens and the lows go up in parallel, and then the expected bearish pattern should continue. The other um, one is the opposite of the bullish flag pattern. Um, again, we're not really tracking this, we're just using this for signaling only on the flagpole. So we have an uptrend, goes into the flag with a bullish down short term, and then back up. So what I've done in the code, I've updated that. Um, as I want to show here. Now, again, this is another version running a 1,000 hours worth. And uh, the report will be a little different, but a, a little more sensible. So here, for all these different... Um, uh, for these different um, uh, pairs, the bearish pennant at this time. So because of that, we expect the price to go down. And same with the bear flag. Um, so if the previous trend is uh, up, or sorry, falling, then we should continue to see that fall so that's all it really does um, some strange things going on with the data uh, it, with all the sim all all of these um, fly or patterns happen the same day and I don't know why that is but they're different patterns bearish pennant 
give a bearish pennant, bear flag, uh, or a bull flag, different times, but different um, time period or different day. Now, that's for a thousand period or a thousand hours. Now, if I run it uh, for 24 hours times seven days, uh, and there is no pattern generate will not print out a report So just remember that all right, so it is improved But this is bizarre. I don't know if this is at the exchange level with some kind of Bug or if the code or the script itself has a bug Might be very interested to know. Let me know what you think. Talk to you later